What is going on YouTube 2 Sketchy coming at you. We're going to be talking about the patch notes 0.11.2, which is essentially the first one for the open beta preseason of Iron Harvest. I'm uh, just going to go through the general changes and the balance changes as well. So let's talk about it. All right, so greetings harvesters. Thank you for your feedback. It's really motivating to see how many of you enjoy the game. We've been, uh, we've taken your constructive feedback to heart and are working to improve the beta. Here are some of the changes we've are able to implement over the last couple of days. So that doesn't mean that this is the only one. Pretty sure we'll see a few more patches like this. Um, so general changes, we have VSync options has been restored. They fixed the uh, FPS limit, so there's no FPS cap. Due to the update, previous save games were invalid. So hopefully your uh, campaign is going to remain or the progress that you've done to it. Uh, bug related to restarting missions has been fixed. Fixed numerous unit animation issues. Uh, they are much smoother now. It fixed issues with building debris, like floating in midair. Cool, cool little visual bug. Bl blug, <laughs> bug fix. Interactions with resource points should now behave properly. Um, again, this should. So, if you have any issues, go ahead and you know leave it in the feedback section in their Discord. Um, there is now a notification voice line when reserves units are ready to use. I thought there was one already, but I guess I was mistaken. Fog of War is now correctly conceals bunkers and some other uh, fog of war related bugs have been fixed okay resolved issues caused by players disconnecting on the faction picking and reserve picking screen interesting some causes of fatal simulation errors have been picked these errors could lead to freeze in multiplayer matches so some of those asyncs maybe have been fixed here um fix and exploit were target ground orders that allowed units to continue fire units that were out of play due to being unconscious or stealth health i've never seen that one Ogos explosives charge can now be placed in buildings such as bunkers Ooh, exciting fixed numerous occasions where increment text was displayed okay fixed an issue where by old reserve slots were not updated visually oh we saw those okay so i even talked about that during the stream uh, improved visual impact sound effects increase variations nice so sound effects get a little bit more love here um, we added and replaced some unit voice lines interesting we've made various improvements to the ui navigation transition and fixed inconsistencies hopefully we can press those buttons at the bottom now fixed invisible barricades on a second polonia campaign mission balance changes all right melee we recognize our infantry melee system needs improvement that's all we wanted to say it needs improvement and we aim to do this for future updates. Listen guys, we talked about it, we told them what was wrong, and they're fixing it, which is great. That's all we can ask for, and you know, well, we'll see how it goes down the line. But for now, uh, it turned out uh, getting to melee was way too easy, and damage was inconsistent. Therefore, Vanguard is getting nerfed. Nothing crazy, but this is definitely still a nerf, so you're probably going to be able to withstand these one-on-one -on -one fights they're not going to be able to melee you to death so this is just a vanguard not Orosvit in general because the vanguards were the ones that were pretty damn strong so from 15 to 12 riflemen polania riflemen melee um getting buffed a bit so they're not going to be as strong as Orosvit because that's 12 this is eight so there's a bit of a you know inconsistency not inconsistency but there's definitely a balance but you have to remember that Orosvit has to get in close and Polanya and Gunner. Gunner melee. But this isn't even. This isn't even Saxony. Saxony's fine. I thought for some reason this was going to be Saxony. This is. What else we Rifleman. Polanya Rifleman. Gunners. Which I didn't know Gunners did that bad in melee actually. And then Flamer Infantry melee um, down. So Flamers aren't going to be able. Because Flamers do have to get pretty damn close. I didn't even know that was an issue. Interesting. I think this is the most important one. This and this. So they can actually fight against them and in range beat them down. Vanguards. They benefit from melee situations the most, obviously. Being the unit with the highest power to accessibility ratio. They are also a there's what? There's also a bug that let them focus damage on individual enemy squad soldiers instead of distributing their damage. This is me. Got it. Okay, so they would focus down on an individual model in your squad, which would just drop them immediately five times, obviously, obviously because there's five models. 
This is what made them win every matchup. Uh, Vanguard weapon damage versus light armor is now down. Whatever this increment of measurement is here, uh, it's down by two points, 0.2 points against light armor. So anything that's like a, a strashnik, it's gonna have a difficult time with, you know. Which it was, it was struggling against that kind of stuff already. So that's your counter, and it's going to remain a counter for sure. Gunter, his wolves knocked on talk now appear briefly out of shadow, attacking infantry units and pushing them back. His melee fish punch, fish punch, fish pinch now works properly, doing less damage to armor. It's easier to hit for enemy range attacks, and his health has been reduced, making him less tanky. Also, his visuals have received an upgrade. Ooh. Okay. The thing about Gunter that made him tanky. I'll have to see what his health is now. It doesn't say on here. The thing that made him tanky, he had light armor. Olga and Anna just have just are unarmored. They don't have anything. So his weapon damage versus armored targets is down, so he's not gonna be able to YOLO himself into into mechs anymore. And his his hitbox radius. Hitbox radius. I'm guessing that's not him being shot, his radius, but the radius at, at which he needs to actually shoot, I think. Don't, I don't really know. I don't think that's the, I don't think, I don't think that was the main issue. I, I have to see what his HP now is though. If they've reduced him to like 200 HP, okay, 500 HP maybe even. Oh, it depends. I have to see. I have to see. If, anyways, Eisenhans. The Saxonian exosuit Eisenhans is meant to be an area control unit that forces foes to move. Which is actually a good unit in, in, in on paper because if you have an AT and I can't get to it, Eisenhans is the way to you know disrupt that and drop some bombs on top of it. Um, however, it, let's see here. It is not meant to be a very effective artillery or damage dealer. <laughs> like I said. It sounds good on paper. <laughs> to help with this, we've increased his armor class from light to medium. Ooh, he is tanky boy. We also increased their melee damage significantly. Give him some more speed and we'll talk about how how OP he is. Right now, armor class changed from light to medium. Melee versus unarmored, 50 to 100. 100 damage, that means every melee swipe that's one complete model gone. Oi. This guy could be strong now. Artillery, the oil cost of Polonia, Monsignor, and Saxony's Earl Koenig artillery mech has been reduced from 160 to 130 and 170 to, to uh, 120, respectively. Okay, we'll see more artillery. That's a that's a nice little nerf for us, for us artillery lovers. Um, the scythe mech. A veteran ability has been made more effective after freeing any previously suppressed units and that prevents your own soldiers from being suppressed for four seconds or so. Okay, I've never been able to use that mech properly, so for the ones that are, if you can get it vetted up, being that it's melee, it's usually in the front of the lines getting absolutely blasted. But we'll have to see. Ognevo Flamer mech population costs has been reduced. Uh, all mega mechs, the Kaiser, Toro, Gulai, Gorod, reach their veterancy faster so their <clears throat> xp capacity probably been has has probably been reduced brunhilde um this beast has been reduced to two to 850 hp slight nerve there but i don't think that's gonna do much i don't think she was that much of a problem either lech cost is tankier than her <laughs> um colonel lev juba his bloodlust ability Ooh. Boy, this this should have been up here. <laughs> this should have been the first thing. Oh my God, Lev Juva reduced by twenty percent life steal. Cheers, guys. Thank you. This was a good one. This was a good one. Excuse me. Um, I like what I see. There's a few things that I just like. Did, was that really a problem? I didn't know that, but yeah, it's good. It's good. We're, we're headed in the right direction. It's not. It's nothing too. The bus is driving in the background. It's nothing too drastic and, and you know just life altering. But Zhubov getting reduced is huge. Um, Rusvit getting reduced is huge. You know, 
we're getting a bit buffed here in melee. I wish we got more damage in the in the guns for Polanya, but that's okay. I think Polanya is okay. I think their their mechs is what makes them very powerful right now. We'll have to see how this goes. Um, this video is about 10 minutes long or so, and I think that's enough talking. So, um, I'm going to be streaming here in a little bit. Uh, you guys want to stop by, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, just get you out. Peace.